guys it's the hazy max thought i'd do a quick check up it's the start of 2018 so a brand new year i know everyone is probably on their new year new goals new fitness plans this is the year that i will finally lose weight this is the year that i'll finally do something and i am with you guys on it i've had a bit of a shit two years really with regards to staying at the goal weight that I got to, I got originally down to 142 pounds. Stayed there for a little bit, got a bit complacent, got a bit happy with life. Still doing lots of fitness, but slowly the junk food came back in. I used to be that person that never had chocolate, that never had crisps. You know, I would throw popcorn away at the cinema, like empty half of it out and immediately throw half away so that I only had this tiny little portion. Um, and gradually over time, that analness with food has vanished. And I'm now the girl that can eat a large plate of food, that can wolf down desserts, and that loves her chocolate again. So I'll be honest, I have been avoiding the scales like the plague for the last, if not six months, year. I know that I have put weight on I've gone up from a size 12 jeans to a size 14 jeans and I refuse to buy any bigger than a size 14 jeans. Even going into a size 14 really, really depressed me to the point that I know that something has to be done. Um, so in the new year, I decided I'm going to stand on the scales, make myself accountable for you know the actions that I've been taking and for gaining a little bit of weight. And when I stood on them last week, I was 169 pounds. So from 142, you do the math. That's a couple of stone on in the last... It's not been, you know, a few months. It's been a good two years that this extra two stone or so has slowly crept on. And, you know, a few have gone, a few have come back. So holding steady at 169, I decided it was finally time to do something to make sure that I'm exercising consistently and that I start to get rid of the junk food that I do eat by clearing my house of everything. So last week I decided, right, that's it, junk food gone. I emptied the fridge of all the bad food. I got rid of my boyfriend's chocolate stash. I got rid of every little bit of temptation in the house. And I decided to follow a plan that was low carb for three days and then high carb for one day. Um, so surprisingly, I actually managed to follow the plan for an entire week, which is really, really rare. That never happens at the minute. I think it's the first plan that I've actually stuck to in well over a year. But this morning I stood on the scales and I was 167 after a week. So yes, that is a two pound loss. Um, so technically I should be happy with that. Two pounds off in a week. That's a good result for someone who's not overweight to start with. Except that I weighed myself on Thursday, two days after I started the plan, and I was already down to 167. 167 was kind of my weight after Christmas, and I went up to 169 after New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, a bit of a binge on all my favourite foods. So I was kind of expecting to have dropped below 167 after a whole week of literally killing myself on this new eating regime. So stupidly, I let the scales get to me and this morning I went and did a nice healthy Tesco shop. I bought lots of great supplies. Then in the car on the way home, I ate an entire bag of cookies because why not? So disappointed in myself for doing that and trying to get my head back in the game and say, you know, the scales doesn't matter. Yes, two pounds loss is good, but... The fact that I've exercised every day this week, the fact that I've actually been moving more, been making more conscious decisions to eat fruit and veg and to eat, you know, I've been having mashed broccoli instead of potato mash, you know. That's a big change for someone that's been eating just chips for the last year. Um, I've not had chocolate all last week. I've not had crisps all last week. And they are massive habit changes that I actually succeeded in for an entire week, which I haven't done in a long time. So I need to stop beating myself up about the fact that I only lost two pounds when, you know, I wanted it to be more. I need to stop giving myself a bag of cookies as a, not reward, the opposite of reward, a punishment for not doing as well as I wanted to do on my first week back. 
so my head is going to get back in the game as of today. I'm off to the gym shortly to do a workout for today. Um, I've had a good lunch. I've had a good breakfast. I'm tracking my calories again. So hopefully I can pull my head out of my bum and not continue the day on a bad path like I did this morning at Tesco. So fingers crossed that I can have another good week of success. I'm not sure whether I'm going to stick with the low carb for three days and then high carb for one day. It felt very restrictive. I like the fact that I didn't have to count calories for a week. But the fact that I couldn't have, say, a rice cake with an avocado on top was a real mind fuck for me. I wanted to have certain foods with certain other foods and the the low carb and the high fat versus the high carb and the low fat just didn't kind of work for me. I managed to stick to it, but I felt hungry and unsatisfied all week. Like I couldn't actually eat foods that I wanted to eat and I was really challenging myself um, to stick to that regime. Um, so a food coach of mine uh, said, why don't I just try and keep my calories underneath my burnt calories so that I'm in a calorie deficit constantly and lose weight that way without depriving myself of the foods that I like and the foods that I enjoy together. So that's what I'm going to try to do this week and see whether I get any better results or at least I find that it's not so much of a chore as last week was. Um, I'm back to using my Fitbit on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm logging my steps, my activity, my workouts and totaling up how many calories I've burnt each day and then tracking my food on my fitness pal to make sure that I'm going to be eating less than I'm burning off. So fingers crossed that it goes well. I will try and make some what I eat videos to you know keep myself accountable and to show you guys what I'm actually eating eating uh, if anyone else is struggling and you know have a bit of a gain after maintenance then I would love to hear how you are getting the gain off I know it's only you know two stone you know 17 pounds something daft like that um but it somehow seems harder to lose a small amount of weight than it did when I had a hundred pounds to lose because when there was a hundred pounds to lose the weight came off like that you know I ate good and I lost six pounds in one week I could lose nine pounds you know that's that's how easy it was at the start um and now it seems more of a challenge because a couple of stone isn't that much it's not going to come off in large amounts it's going to be really really small amounts for a lot of bloody work and that to me is harder and it's hard trying to get my mind around that so week two of 2018 let's hope it's going to be a good one um, and I will check in next week with you guys and let you know how I get on so 167 at the start of this week what's the name for what 165 next week maybe fingers crossed hope you guys are well